Salesforce CRM tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to give you a tutorial of Salesforce CRM, how you can use it for customer relationship management and how you can use it for your product management as well. So let's get into it. So here you can see that this is the main page of salesforce.com. You can get access to it by typing salesforce.com onto your URL bar. So you can see that it basically drive growth and cost savings with the world's number one CRM. BPCL uses Salesforce for customer 360 to deliver seamless customer experience across six business units and multiple touch points so you can have sales service marketing commerce tableau mule soft platform slack net zero industries partner success everything on this salesforce so what is crm grow your small business and everything so you're gonna get all of these things all of these amazing features on salesforce here you can see you can salesforce for small business you can see how you can use it you can use it for sales service marketing and commerce as well so how you can get started it is uh, you can start it for free by clicking on this option which says try for free or you can start with this option as well i'm just going to click on this one right here okay so to start your free trial what you need to do is you have to add in all of those details and after you are done you can just click on this option start my free trial i'm just going to click on that because here you can see that stars your salesforce journey you can plan your pipeline turn your prospects into purchases with a seamless sales pipeline you can close more deals you can sell smarter and also sell your way so i'm just going to click on this option which says plan your pipeline or let's get started with uh, you know the dashboard here you can see that you can connect with your customers manage and close deals and build your pipeline these are all these options uh, that you can choose from explore salesforce on your own come back anytime for your trial so i'm just exploring it right on my own right now so so here you can see that you have sales operations you have products you have price books you have codes forecasts order and contracts so go into the sales so here you have your uh, leads uh, when you open that you're going to get a, you you can create a new lead from this option then you have your accounts you can uh, integrate more than one account into your salesforce platform here you can see that your account name your phone number your account owner alias all of these are here then you have your context you can have different contexts like if you want to create a new content just click on this option and it is going to give you a form that you need to fill like the name of the contact content owner then uh, the middle name last name suffix and title email and phone you can just uh, enter all of this information save it and you can cre create this as a contact it will be added into your contact list and you can save a new and it will open a new form for you and you can add another contact from this option so here you have your opportunities okay in the opportunities you have global media what with 140 widgets with 250 widgets acme acme and salesforce 25 widget sample then you have your quotes then you have your campaigns you can start a new campaign and all of these campaigns are going to be here so to start a new campaign you can just have to click on this option which says new just open that you can see that it has basically given you an option to create a campaign campaign name let's say i'm going to create a test campaign and then it is active yes it is active it is a parent campaign no uh this is just you know new campaign then you have an event uh type of the campaign is it a uh, search social media let's say it's a social media campaign that is a description um like let's type in anything then uh what is the status is it a planned campaign in progress or completed it is in progress what is the start date of the campaign let's say it's eight and it is ending on let's say 16th and then you have your uh, planning number sent in campaign six and expected response you can type it in budgeted cost in campaign actual cost expected revenue after you have added all of those things just click on the save and your campaign will be saved and it will appear in your new campaigns in the campaign list that is right here so i'm just going to wait until it you know creates my campaign okay so my campaign has been created now here you can see that you have influenced opportunities you can add leads you can add context to your com campaign campaign hierarchy and member status is default and everything so everything of about your campaign is listed right here you can see how is it going the you can see uh what uh, what is happening in the you can see the details of the campaign what is happening is it uh you know are people getting are the sales upfront is good or not is it in progress how much it is completed how, uh, completed how much is left and everything so everything is going to be here then you have your forecasts your reports are going to be here whatever is happening around your platform marketing executive leads by source salesperson activity and sales exec pipeline your dashboards are going to be here 
so this is uh like uh there's not anything a uh, new dashboard there's no dashboard right now so to create a new dashboard just click on this option it will uh, you can basically differentiate different products uh different um, projects of yours by different um dashboard so it, it basically makes everything so easy and so manageable for you so i'm just going to wait until it loads and i'm going to show you how you can create a new dashboard first of all you have to add the name of the dashboard let's say it's a test dashboard as well the description uh you can add anything is it a private dashboard if is it a non-private you can select the folder from this option right here and created by me shared with me all folders and everything i'm just going to cancel it right now and is it a private dashboard i'm going to create okay so now you have to add different uh, things into your dashboard to add different uh, components you have to click on this option and you can add different components created by me private reports shared with me public reports what do you want to add into your dashboard select report uh let's say i want to add this report into my dashboard i'm going to click on select uh, display as this or this or this i'm just going to you know ask it to display it as this and i'm going to click on add so here you can see that this has been added right here so if you want to add any other thing onto your dashboard just click on that and create it by me you can search what uh, activities by salesperson and you can see that okay this is the activities report and you can see uh, how do you want to add it i'm going to click on add and here you can see that these two have been added onto the dashboard so this is how you can add basically different reports onto your dashboard and whenever you see whenever you open your dashboard all the reports are going to be here and you can keep a look on everything what what's been happening around the platform so here you can see that here this is your calendar and your calendar will have all of the records all of the due dates all of the deadlines and you can basically keep a look at what's happening and what is coming around on your projects and in your crm field so you can just go on and check and mark everything in your calendar this is an app search bar here you can search for all the apps your sales lead generation operations leadership relationship management so everything is going to be here so crm is very important for any business because customer relationship management is something that drives the whole business if your customers are not happy with you then they are not going to your business is not going to be very fruitful for you and it, soon enough it will basically come to an end so to have a successful business it's important that the customer relationship management department of your business is very good for that you can use salesforce because it basically allows you to have so many features and you can use each one of them effectively and um, efficiently and it is going to work really well for you here you have a couple of other options here global actions here is your guidance center your so salesforce help then you have some of your settings and you also have notification this is your own profile let's take a look at the pricing of salesforce so these are all the plans that salesforce have the first one is the essential plan which is for 25 dollars per month the professional plan is available for 75 dollars per month and it completes sales crm for teams of any size and this is an enterprise version for 150 dollars per month as well which is a complete sales crm that's fully customizable so you can get started with any of the plan all of the features are that are included in each plan will basically be enough for you depending on the size of your business so you can uh, you know go through each one of them and see which one is good and you can continue with that so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to software is made easy thank you